Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Danny, and today I'm going to Koh Samui. Right now I'm in Krabi and I'm on the way to take the ferry there. I got a little sneak peek of what transportation is going to be like because Koh Samui does not have a lot of rideshare options, if any. So definitely be prepared to pay some money for these taxis and getting where you need to go. Anyways, the language is Thai, the currency is bought. And while Thailand in general is quite affordable, I would say my time in the South showed me that it seems to be more expensive than being in the capital city Bangkok or if you're in the north that's just my personal opinion I feel like you're gonna spend a lot more on taxis transportation okay because again you are on the island and you got to figure out how to get to where you need to go so you're subject to whatever charges they present to you ride was absolutely stunning and you're able to buy snacks on board make sure you get there early though so you can check in and know what you need to know before you go but i loved it So I was blessed enough that my first time in Koh Samui was actually also while I was experiencing my first song cron. For those of you who don't know, it is a Thai holiday. It's such a happy holiday too. Oh my goodness, there's huge water flights, there's celebration of just new beginnings and people are putting like paste on your face. Everybody has water guns. You can get them from like local convenience stores or local sellers as well. And I unfortunately spent most of my song cron in the car because I arrived on the day of song cron, which I do not recommend. Try to get here earlier i ended up being in traffic i think my ride was 40 minutes it turned into a four hour drive however i had a really good seat for the festivities people had huge buckets of water water hoses spraying cars blasting people on the back of motorbikes riding around sitting in the back of trucks with just huge things of water throwing it on people everyone can get it okay it's a free for all locals are participating of course foreigners are also participating and it's so fun it felt like a really really amazing time to be here so i'm grateful i got a chance to experience that i got to go out a little bit you know and i had my little water guns as well but unfortunately i was in the car for the majority of the time so i'd say if you're arriving on a big holiday or event try not to if you can just try to get in like the day before but yeah lots of water oh my gosh songkran was a beautiful holiday to see be mindful of the holiday dates and make sure you come prepared. I'm talking waterproof case, shoes and clothes. You're not afraid to get wet. Okay, whatever you might need, a water gun if you want to participate. Feel free to have a conversation below or fact check me if I'm wrong. When I was in Koh Samui, the first day was the water festival. And then the two days after that, there weren't too many people doing the water activities. I heard in other cities that it would go on for like all three days. Again, I'm not sure. I only have my personal experience in Koh Samui so I have nothing to compare it to but I'm glad I got to experience it I went to a place called Ark Bar all right it was a huge pool party everybody brought their water guns as well this is still the first day of song cron I believe this was a Saturday and y'all it was lit you're right by the beach it's so beautiful everybody was just happy chilling relaxing oh my gosh wow this was a super cool vibe I met a whole bunch of people and I just enjoyed myself a lot so yeah and then the next day I was a bit tired from all the traveling so I just relaxed a little bit I visited in April. It is extremely hot, okay? So I took a dip in the pool. It got to the point where even when I was sitting on the pool edge, I was getting burned because it was so hot. 
yeah so just be mindful make sure you got your sunscreen mosquito repellent all that good stuff i took the walk to a nearby cafe or a restaurant that my uh, accommodations was promoting and i ended up eating here a few times and there's also going to be a fire show which you'll see in a few moments but yeah i went and unfortunately they were closed so i'm gonna go back later for dinner and the fire show i'm quite excited <laughs> The fire show was definitely a highlight of my trip. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. And then I got here and I was like, oh yeah, Kosamoe has fire shows. Now later you're gonna see they have multiple fire shows. Like you can just walk along the beach and there's gonna be so many people performing. But I was excited to see my first one. So I grabbed something to eat at this cafe restaurant place again. All right, they have a beautiful ambiance. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna be quite honest with y'all. There's so much to see. There's day tours. I heard there's pig island, elephant sanctuaries. And then there's like these, uh what is it the overlook rock let me look it up real quick so i don't give you all the wrong information again anything i know or any place i go i will put down below but let me check oh i'm glad i did it's called the overlap stone i think there's two or maybe more who knows but anyways yeah i was looking some things up you could do day tours there's a bunch of tour booths everywhere if you come to kosamui make sure you have hefty pockets for the taxis i was so used to using grab during my trip in thailand that it was a huge adjustment switching over to taxis who will quote you whatever on the street but i'm sharing this so you can be prepared for that reality if you think you're gonna just like rely on grab or whatever it is just be mindful you might just be subject to the taxis and transportation and a lot of people will rent a motorbike it is cheap but i I also am not comfortable with that, so I didn't do it. I think you also need an international driving license. So my advice for you if you're coming to Koh Samui is that you should find a place that is central or look into renting a motorbike if you're comfortable with it please be careful and please wear a helmet or you know just pay the taxi fares i think those are really your only options you are on the island again so you are subject to whatever the prices are as far as getting around so unfortunately i didn't see that much i did stay to my area the fire show was amazing oh my gosh that was phenomenal i was already quite satisfied arriving on such a beautiful thai holiday and experiencing song Kron was like definitely a highlight and then having an amazing dinner and doing the fire show was another highlight light for me but anyways yes the fire show all right i'm actually gonna go see another one <laughs> it was so funny i talked to somebody i was like oh i haven't seen a fire show yet they go how have you not seen one <laughs> they're everywhere but yeah i will end up changing areas and i'm gonna go check out it's the big buddha and there's another beautiful temple nearby that is well towards the end of the vlogs i ended up just switching accommodations just so i can get closer to the pier which is where i was leaving from and then also so i can actually be in walking distance of some other places So this is exactly what that person meant when they said, how have you not seen a fire show? Because they're very hard to miss. Like I said, I ended up going to another one. I was like, oh, I'll go to two. They are kind of similar, but nonetheless, they are very sensational. I'm so impressed by the level of skill and talent it takes. And like I said, the whole beach. So this one's at Arc Bar. It was at a certain time. Um, so was the Moonrise one. I think that one was like, when I went, it was at seven. And then the Arc Bar one, I think was at eight. I was like, you know what, let's just go to both. The whole beach. All you see is flames just spinning in the air because there are fire performers all along the coast. So I thought that was really, really nice. And of course, there are other things to do. Like I said, I was a little bit stuck in Costa Movie just because of the transportation issue. I wasn't trying to shell out too much, but you have things you could do. There's waterfalls, beaches, lots of temples. Like I said, tours, or I think this is a really good place to relax too. I actually indulge in some services. You're able to get massages, spa treatments, whatever it might be. And again, it is a bit pricier. Seems to have that island price, but I think that just comes with the cost of tourism. I was eating good. I was relaxing. I was near the Chawang Beach area, I believe, like that kind of that area. So if you see Koh Samui on the map, that's where I was at. I wanted to check out, I think it was Lamai Beach. Forgive my pronunciation. I didn't get a chance to do that. And then what else? 
like I said, there were the overlap rocks. There's a lot of great vantage points too, like little cafes you can go to. But again, I just kind of stayed where I was at. Oh, and of course, other performances. I tend to forget sometimes when I do vlogs in the same country. But of course, if you're in Thailand, especially for the first time, you can check out a Muay Thai fight. There were trucks driving around playing announcements on the upcoming shows and things like that. So I think it's really easy to go ahead and find one. And I ended up going to this cute little place. Again, I'll put everything down below for just some breakfast. Please make sure you're keeping cash on you, of course, for the taxis, but also for markets and some places will not accept cart. I actually was down the street from a 7-Eleven that didn't, but you know, 7-Eleven's right around every corner in Thailand. So I walked up the street and I found one that did take cart. But say you want to go to like a little restaurant or whatever, there were a lot of restaurants and cafes I went to that would not accept cart. Or if they did, then of course they had a card minimum. So just be mindful of that. I think you should carry both cash and card. I think that's a general travel rule at this point. English friendly, this is Thailand. Thailand, so you'll be able to get around just fine. I always say I'm never entitled to English. It's always nice to experience, but you know, I'll find my way around. But I would honestly say you're gonna get by just fine. Okay, so I am changing locations. I'm gonna go closer to the pier because again, that's where I'm leaving from and I'm closer to the Buddha. I can actually walk to it if I want or I could take a quick motorbike. Oh, by the way, there are still motorbikes, like taxi motorbikes on the street you can hail. Just don't be too dependent on rideshare apps. And that is completing my time in Koh Samui. I had an excellent time. I think this is a place I'll definitely come back to and plan out the transportation situation a bit better, but I'm pretty happy with what I saw. I got to explore, eat, and also, it was extremely hot, again, in April. Walk down the street and you're drenched in sweat. All right, so sometimes I actually just didn't really wanna go anywhere. Um, just respectfully, I just had this, like, I just wanna chill, be by the pool. And of course, you're allowed to do whatever you want with your vacation. So if you want to relax and chill, Koh Samui is a great place. If you want to explore, educate yourself, do tours, that's an option too. I went to this restaurant that was actually attached to the place I was staying and the food was phenomenal. I had lunch and breakfast the next day. And yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.